Hey, which way? I'm guessing you're watching this video because you or someone you know has had a heart problem. Well, being in hospital with a heart problem can be a bit scary at first, but you know what? It don't have to be. Let's find out what happens in hospital, eh? Good morning, Gloria. My name's Dr. Rogers. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm all right. That seems you're having some ischemia of your heart at the moment. Now, this is when the coronary arteries become narrow or occluded and can't supply enough blood to your heart. We need to have a look to make sure there isn't any damage to your heart muscle. So it's a really good idea that you came in today. If you don't understand, ask questions. This is where uncle comes in handy. Mum, do you understand what the doctor's saying? Yeah. No, Mum, do you really understand? Nah, not really. Hang on, um, could you explain in plain English what's happening to my mum? Sure, so basically we believe that your mum's having a heart attack. What she's saying is that Gloria's having a heart attack. This is when there is a sudden blockage of blood to the heart muscle. Now this needs to be fixed right away and it's done in a place called the cardiac catheter lab. Now Gloria will be given something to numb the pain while a small tube like this one is put into the artery through the arm or the groin. Now this allows the doctor to take pictures of the heart, find the blockage and open it up. Do you understand what's going on or do you have any more questions at all? Mum, do you have any questions? Don't be shame. When can I go home? I need to cook tea. So Gloria, we need to get you fixed first, so you'll have to stay in here for a few days. Well, if I'm going to stay in here, you have to go home and cook tea for the kids. Don't go walking around or going up north anywhere, because the kids can't be starving. Right. So I'm sure the kids will be fine. We just need to get you sorted first. Are you OK with that? I'm OK. Let's do this. See, that wasn't that bad now, was it, Mum? Here? Yeah. And here you are. Ask questions if you don't understand. Don't just scam and nod your head and make out you know when you don't. You've got nothing to be ashamed of. And be prepared to stay in hospital if you have to. And try not to be scared of them tests. Look what happened, Auntie Gloria. You saw how deadly she felt after. And you know you will need to start taking new tablets and continue them, usually for life. But talk to your doctor or nurse or pharmacist about what those tablets are and when to take them and if there's any side effects. 